Hey there guys and welcome and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing good out there in the world today. So about two weeks ago I lightened my hair again. Yeah oh my gosh so surprising I know I can't believe it. <laughs> so I used L'Oreal Quick Blue and then Salon Care 20 Volume Developer. And it worked pretty good. It was really yellow. So I went to Sally's to get some toner and all they had was T10. They literally didn't have anything else. I don't know what kind of toning bomb hit the local Sally's, but uh, somebody, some, some people clearly needed to tone their hair. It's okay, don't get me wrong. It, uh, the length of my hair makes it kind of hard to see, but it is a really pr like pretty good blonde. I just kind of want to do something different. I, I miss having dyed hair, so. I'm gonna dye my hair today. So first of all, check out these nails. They are from the same brand I got my hair dye from that I'm going to be using today, Lunar Tides. I have used their hair dyes twice in the past before. I have used their True Lust color, and I think the other is called Siam. And I love them both, they both worked so good and the jars lasted me a super long time. So I'm super duper excited to try their products again. Uh, but as I was saying earlier, I got these cute little nails. They're usually like full stiletto tips, but my hands are just so tiny. If I put like long nails on my tiny little hands, they just look obnoxiously long and I can't do anything and I just, I'm not coordinated enough. I'm sorry, I can't do it. But I think they look cute trimmed down still. I really like them. They remind me of little, little Hot Wheels. So I'm into that. <laughs> but this is Lychee Pink from uh, Lunar Tides Hair Dye. I know it's lychee, I'll swear, but lychee, that's what's going to uh, probably come out of my face hole for this whole video. So. If for some reason that's wrong, uh, cancel me. So this is the packaging for Lychee Pink. It's got like this little gem up on the top. Very, very cute. Uh, and then here is the actual dye. This stuff smells so good. And it is very pink. Now it did have a little graphic on the site that showed this dye on different tones of hair. And I feel like I fall in medium blonde, kind of, I guess. But no matter what, no matter what blonde you would consider my hair, it's blonde. This is gonna go on it so good and it's gonna look so cool and I'm so excited. So I'm gonna change my shirt and then I will be right back and we will start. So I got my bowl and I got my dye. Not gonna take my dye out of a jar because I'm lazy. This is going to be a recurring thing. I'm just going to keep it in the bowl so it doesn't make a mess. Lazy point number two, I am also just not, I am foregoing a, a painting brush this time. I don't care. Look how short my hair is. It doesn't need a painting brush. I'd like to keep my glasses on just be, so I can see better because as I've said in videos before, I cannot see the far away things and the mirror is behind my camera so it is a far away thing. But I might take them off just because they end up getting in the way. I really don't think so. I'm also sporting my retired emo kid t-shirt because I know it's a black tee and it's not gonna get stained or ruined or anything. And then I have some processing caps for once so I don't need to put a bag on my head. So now I'm gonna open this stuff up and we're gonna start and we're gonna say bye to the blonde hair. Goodbye blonde hair, we'll miss you. All right, bye blonde hair, goodbye. Here it is and here it goes. Ooh, pigmented, very pigmented. I'm not lathering it, by the way. I'm just trying to make sure to, to get all the spots so it's not splotchy. Oh, ooh, I'm liking it so far. Okay, here we go. So when I bleached my hair a couple weeks ago, I did a TikTok. I've been doing a lot of TikToks of my hair processes in the past uh, year, year and a half. And like every other social platform, TikTok has like a shadow banning thing. And I still really don't know what got me shadow banned because I've never really done anything that broke the rules. I just kind of got shadow banned sometime like, uh, like seven months ago, eight months ago. And my followers just went at a standstill. My videos just started like flopping left and right. I mean, if you look at the TikTok, 
I put up of me bleaching my hair the other day compared to a similar TikTok of me bleaching my hair last year. It just doesn't really make sense why the views would just be so different, you know? So it's a bummer and that's kind of one of the reasons that I decided to do um, a YouTube video instead this time with my hair. Especially because you guys have been so awesome and most importantly, I just hit 10,000 subscribers, which is so cool and so exciting. And thank you guys so much. You guys mean so much to me. About first quarter into the jar, maybe more. I think I need to take my glasses off at this point, but I don't know if I can. Oh, I don't want to drop them on the floor. Oh no, I know I just touched my face with hair dye. Oh. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Never happened. What hair dye on my face? None. I'm trying to get these eel broken off hers. Get all this up here. My widow's peak is always a problem area. This is another problem area. All of these like wispy hairs in the back. Always been a problem for me. It would never, ever, ever happen, but on the one in a billion chance that Brad Londo sees this video, um, please restock your hair dye, because I wanted to buy your hair dye and try it, and it has been out of stock for a while, and I want some. I want some real bad. I want to try it. So I hope it's in stock <laughs> next time I do something to my hair. Just about every inch of my hair is just covered. All right, processing cap is on. 35 minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna go leave this on for 35 minutes and then I'm going to wash it and when it's all done, I will show it to you guys. And there we have it. It is all done and it looks so good, you guys. Like, I adore this. I processed it for 35 minutes and then I took like a nice hot hair dryer to it for about five more. And then I rinsed it in like lukewarm, like kind of cool water uh, until uh, nothing came back. Like it didn't feel conditionery and like the water was mostly clear. And it just it feels really good it looks really good it's an incredibly even color feeling so cute feeling like this is such a fun adorable color as i said this is the third time i've ever used lunar tides it's been amazing every single time they always stay super well so i know this is gonna you know stay in my hair for a couple weeks of the hair dyes i've used it's some of the better hair dye for for sure I try to be an optimist. I give dyes I try props for their good parts and try to focus on those instead of the bad parts. But genuinely, Lunar Tide's hair dye, I don't really have any complaints about it. There's nothing I can think of at this very moment that is wrong with this hair dye. The price point is good. The pigmentation is good. It got here on time. Like, it smells so good. I think it's a really good portion. And overall, I like their brand and I like the theme and I also like the little nails I have. They're very, very cute. This is pretty much exactly how I figured it was going to come out. It's slightly less neon than like the lightest example they had on the site, but my hair was also not the lightest it could have been. So unfortunately, that's how it goes. But I'm not mad about it. I love it. I think I, I it looks so cute. I really think you can even barely tell that I have roots going on. So 10 out of 10. So I think that wraps up this one, you guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Did you like it? What did you like about it? Um, 
What other colors would you like to see me try in the future? Any other hair dye brands maybe? I'd be happy to. I also love a good video suggestion. So, you know, anything, drop it down in the comments. You know, just be nice, be civil. Don't argue with one another. I don't like that. I will delete that. Otherwise, it has been a pleasure, and I just want to point out again, wow, 10,000 subscribers. I seriously can't believe it. Thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. It means so much. It really, really does, and it motivates me so much to do so much more for this channel, and I just can't wait to see what the future holds. So if you like this video, maybe check out my other videos. Maybe you might want to subscribe if you're really feeling generous you might want to turn on that notification bell and i will see you guys in the next one bye